morning. I'm here in Barcelona in Spain and just excited for the day. Today I'm going to do a little walking tour and go past uh, several exhibits, I think like five, six, maybe seven places for a very famous architect uh, named Gaudi. And he's really, really famous for being the father of modern, modernism. So I'm going to go check that out. That's the plan. Next to my hostel is this awesome church back here, a cathedral, and uh, it's just really, really gorgeous with the backlit sunlight coming against the silhouette of the steeples of this church. It's just really quite fabulous. I love the Gothic architecture here. It's the weekend here, and as you can see by the crowds, it's a really popular activity for the weekend is to go to the Christmas market here. And so there's a whole bunch of all sorts of knickknacks and so small little collectibles, Christmas ornaments, things to put under Christmas trees, stocking stuffers, and all sorts of decorations. That seems to be the popular thing to buy here. And they have this uh, Latin music, which is doesn't sound at all like Christmas music. I came through here the other day, and they had all Christmas music, which I think was more appropriate for the Christmas market. like these pedestrian walkways that go right down the middle of uh, a streetway. So there's a street on one side here on my right side, which is going one direction, and then the other direction is on the other side. In the middle is this pedestrian walkway with all these little cafes and uh, gift shops and uh, little quickie marts where you can buy drinks and water and uh, little snacks and things like that. It's really, really nice. Antonio Gaudi is um, considered one of the fathers of modern architecture, and I guess from what I've read in Wikipedia, most of his structures that he worked on were late 1800s, like 1870 through early 1900s. Again, this is just a blog that I'm doing a video. I'm not giving historical backgrounds or necessarily facts. Uh, this is just me and my daily life and what I know. So this is the first of seven structures and what I really like about it is all of the ironwork that's done in front of the windows and in front of the doorways is really, really cool. I like the, the twisting designs, the uh, rounded arches, and a lot of his other stuff that I've seen pictures of look a lot like Willy Wonka combined with sort of a, a gothic type style and a little bit of Dr. Seuss thrown in. So you mix all those together and that's sort of what you get for Gaudi and modern architecture. Apparently this was a palace uh, structure and the name of it is Palo Guel. Uh, which means the Palace of Guel, uh, this particular family here. So it's the first of the places. I think I should be able to come back here tomorrow and enter for free. Today there's a cost to enter, so I'm just going to see it from the outside. And as you can see, there's some big tour groups here as well. confession to make. Um, getting from point one to point two on my list of places to go was not possible this morning and that's because what I did was I printed out a number of pages. Point number one was over here and there was this little tiny map. So that's the problem is the size of this map and the numbers for points one and two are obliterating and covering some of my streets. So I made it to point one because the staff at the hostel wrote a little star on my map to get to point one. But when I went to try to get to point two, I couldn't tell on this little map where it was on my big map. So I was stuck. So I decided to get a quick lunch and sit down and regroup and think this thing through a little bit. And what I came up with is going back to the hostel and talking to the staff there and having them mark points one through seven, because there's seven places here on this Gaudi, uh, Gaudi 
a walking tour marking one through seven all the little points on the maps. But it turns out that it takes one, two, three maps here to mark all the points because the Old Town map uh, for the Gothic area is only big enough for the Gothic area and some of these are outside of it. And the larger map, the surrounding Gothic area, which includes like 90% of the sites, does not have one of the sites that's slightly off the map. So I have a third map just for that one point. So I also found out that it takes over four hours, almost five hours of walking to get to between all of these places. It can be done on a bicycle or with one of the tour buses, but walking, you're looking four to five hours. So it's not gonna be possible to do it in one day, at least not for me, it's just too much. So what I've decided to do is to break it up and do two, maybe three a day. So I'm gonna go do one more site today and then over the next few days, I'm going to continue doing these sites and break them up a little bit more and make it a little more interesting, a little easier to get through this list. So anyway, so I've marked uh, point number two, which is the Casa Calvet, and I'm going to head off to that one. I just love this architecture here. It's absolutely beautiful. The way the light's hitting it from the angle and the side is really incredible. It just makes me smile to see architecture like this and just walking around. It's such a beautiful city here. me across the street with the black uh, metal balconies here four stories with the rounded uh, roof um, treatment there this is another one of uh, Gaudi's works and point number two on my little walking tour um, I think this is interesting it's not necessarily stunning in my opinion as far as architecture but it's uh, fascinating to see the contrast between this particular style and the one that's immediately next to it. Apparently this is a Catalonian style and I do like uh, the roof area there that looks sort of gothic style with the round globe balls on it and some metal work and some things that look like they're torches up there. Um, three human heads that are sort of in the little dips. So it is an interesting piece of uh, architecture but not nearly as interesting as some of the others that are later on this tour that I'll be going to see later, particularly the uh, cathedral that I'll be seeing here probably um, Monday or Tuesday, like in a, a couple of days from now. Pretty cool. So that's probably all I'm going to do today. I'm going to head back to the hostel and uh, do a little work online and get some dinner. Uh, tomorrow I'm hoping to go see a couple of things. It's going to be a free day, uh, the first Sunday of the month. Uh, they have free day to enter into some of the museums and some of the exhibits, so I'm going to take advantage of that and try to get into some of the free exhibitions and uh, check that out. And hopefully we'll have some okay weather. I understand it's going to get cold in the next few days, so it's probably the last day of really bright, nice sunlight that I'll have for a few days. All I have for this episode, please remember, savor the moment, be happy, pursue your passions, and I'll see you next episode.